What's going on everyone? It is Coach John back with another one. Why do I feel like everybody does the same intro and I'm just copying them? Anyways guys, I'm back with Beyond the Iron, repping Beyond the Iron, or Reebok in this case, and we are talking about the meal prep. This is, if you saw my last video, the biggest meal prep that I've ever done in the last seven years of meal prepping. This is 23. 24 meals if you count the one I have in the fridge, 24 meals for the next two weeks. So I've tried it all guys. I've prepped every single morning. I've prepped before every single meal. I've prepped every two days, every three days, four, five. And for the last few years, I've been sticking to prepping every week. So on Sundays, typically, I would prep for the entire seven days to come. I would just store it in the fridge. People always have questions like, oh, you know, isn't it staying there too long? I never had any issues with leaving these meals in the fridge for even up to nine days, okay? So I didn't have an issue with it. It all tasted good to me. It tasted the same, but I realized from a client of mine actually that I could take it a step further. That's right. I decided that I would just freeze these meals. And so I tested freezing some meals previously uh, the last couple of weeks. And guess what? They came out the exact same way as if they weren't frozen. So I decided it's time to refine this process and bring it down to as little time consumption as possible for you to stay on track with your nutrition and eliminate all excuses. Because guess what? Two hours a week already should give you no excuse. Two hours a week to stay on point with your nutrition, but how about three hours every two weeks? That's right, this took three hours or less. I'm talking three hours, including the prep and including the cleaning and including all that stuff. That's three hours from literally start to finish, having not one thing on here to having 23, 24 amazing meals that are gonna help me look, feel, and perform better in three hours or less for two weeks at a time. If you do the math, if you were to double that, that's only six hours a month, but it's probably less than that. We're gonna find out later. But what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is how you can do the same thing here. I post these pictures on Instagram all the time and people are wondering, people call me the meal prep king, which I don't blame them, but also they're mind boggled as to how I can actually prep this food, stay so consistent with it, make it you know, seem so easy. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. I'm actually gonna give you, let's see, I got seven steps for you to meal prep like the meal prep king himself so you can stay on point with your nutrition as easily as I do. Like, you must understand how little I think about my nutrition on a day-to-day -day basis simply because I take the time to prep every single week for the following days. I want you to have that same luxury. So, don't get it twisted. You still need discipline, you still need consistency, but then again, every endeavor worth pursuing requires those two things. Now, I do wanna mention this disclaimer. Meal prep is gonna be very difficult to stick to if you're picky, but I'll give you the second disclaimer. The reason you're picky and care so much about taste and every meal needs to taste the same or taste different or taste amazing is because you're probably used to eating garbage foods. You're used to eating out all the time. You're not used to eating. Your, your dopamine receptors in your brain are used to high pleasure foods. Trust me, when you bring it down to eating meals like this, healthier foods on a day-to-day, -day, week week-to-week basis, you start to become numb to that whole taste good thing. You start to perform, look, and feel better. And guess what? Taste will not matter as much. But with that said, of course, we do take precautions to make it taste as good as it could, uh, given that it stays healthy, not processed, etc., and still time efficient. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the seven steps. Now, the first step, it's the most important, and that is you need to figure out your calories, you need to figure out your macros, okay? Have you heard this before? Well, if you've been subscribed for or seen more than one of my videos, you will have heard this before. How do you figure that out? I've got two videos to help you do that. Click up top in the cards right here for a maintenance calorie video to calculate that, as well as macros, whether it's for muscle gain or fat loss, all of them linked up there. Watch that after this video so that you have the instructions written down, boom, then you go and start at step one. With that said, figure out your calories, macros, because without knowing those two things, you have zero hope in seeing the results you want. You might see some results, 
but you're inevitably, inevitably gonna hit a wall and you're not gonna get to the point you want to. You're gonna get frustrated, etc., etc., etc. You need step one, okay? Do not jump to step two. If you don't know calories and macros, you cannot move to step two. Now, let's go ahead and assume that you figured that out. If so, congratulations. And especially if you've been tracking them, perfect. The next thing you gotta do is very simple. You gotta pick the foods that you wanna prepare. We're not looking at preparing 100 different meals here. Again, you can if you want, but for the sake of time, efficiency, the reasons that we do this, I don't recommend that. Instead, what I typically recommend is picking anywhere between maybe a couple or a few different protein sources, carb sources, and fat sources if you wanna add fats to these main meals. So you're gonna pick those. In my case, let's say today we've got turkey, lean ground turkey, we've got rice, we've got quinoa, we've got veggies, okay? You might do chicken breast, you might do sweet potato. I have done that in the past as well. So you pick the foods that you want. Again, they're not gonna be churros and, uh, you know, uh, uh, deep fried chicken tenders, right? Of, well, they might be, but I can go ahead and take a guess as to how you're gonna look, feel, and perform if that's what you're prepping. Or the beer and pizza memes, those ones are kind of funny, but obviously that's not what we're going with here. So figure out the foods that you wanna pick. Again, between a few different options for both carbs and protein, and uh, you should be good to go. Obviously, you wanna buy those in bulk to get them at the cheapest rates. Next step is you wanna determine how many meals per day you're gonna prep for, as well as for how many weeks in advance. Obviously, I recommend if you're starting out, just prep one week in advance. Now, if you've got X amount of calories that you've figured out, how many of those calories do you want prepared, ready to go each day? You need to determine that, but my guideline to you, my recommendation, my advice, is aim for at least 50% of those calories coming from the bulk of your meals, okay? At least half of your diet should be prepped, ready to take out, warm up, and eat right away. Because just like that, 50% of your nutrition, you know you're gonna stay on point with. Now, if you can, I would push it up to even 75%. So for example, if you are uh, eating four meals a day, you can prep for three of those meals each day. That would be 75%. Or if you eat three meals a day, prep two of those meals, you know, 66%, etc. cetera. You get the point, 50% up to 75% you should have prepped. If you wanna prep 100% of it, then be my guest. The only issue with that is that you will not have much flexibility if you decide to stick with 100% of your meals prepped at all times. It could get bland, it could get boring, uh, but that's completely individual. If you don't find that to be the case, by all means prep 100%, it's gonna make it that much easier to stick to if you're okay with the same thing every single day. So, personally I prep 50 to 75% of my meals. Once you determine that, how many meals is that? Is that two, is that three? Depends on your calories, maybe it's only one. No problem, determine it, and now you know how many meals you need to prep for the week. So, if you need two meals per week, or per day for the week, that's 14 meals, seven times two. Very simple math, guys. Next, step number four, you're gonna cook it all up simultaneously. You got a stove with four of these things going. You can have the turkey here, the quinoa, the rice, the veggies, okay? I recommend trying to do it. Obviously get the pots and stuff for it. Try to do it all simultaneously. Cook it all up at once. Dedicate the one to two, maybe three hours for that day to cooking it all up at once, making it as time efficient as possible, okay? It's actually very easy to do. I've got plenty of meal prep videos where I show myself cooking it. You can check those out as well, okay? So that's step number four. The fifth step is you need to portion it out with the scale. This part's very important. So you've prepped all your foods, you've got your veggies, your quinoa, your rice, your turkey. What you need to do next is you need to portion each one of those foods the same way in the meals. So what do I mean? If I'm gonna have turkey and rice in a meal, each one of those meals should have the same amount of turkey, the same amount of rice. In my case, one and a half cups of rice, with a turkey, I'm weighing it out, I'm putting 220 grams each and every meal. Why is that so important? You want them all to be the same because that way you know each day you're hitting the same macros, same calories, same protein, same carbs from those meals. So when you go to your MyFitnessPal and you're inputting your calories for that day, you know exactly when you pull out the turkey meal, you just put in 220 grams. One and a half cups of rice, you put that in, it's very simple. You need to make sure that each one of these is portioned the same. For my quinoa, I've got one cup per meal. It's the the same, that way I know every day. I take it out, I look, it's quinoa, good. I know what to input into my fitness pal. Trust me, trust the meal prep king. This is the streamlined way to do it. This is 
the way the king does it. So trust me on this, okay? Now, uh, after the fifth one, and obviously you wanna remember these portions and make sure they're even, like I mentioned, the sixth is to add veggies to all of this, okay? Now, I did say that I have veggies uh, as part of my foods, but if you aren't having your veggies, this is a great way to get them in. I personally recommend minimum one cup, even up to two cups per meal. And I actually don't track my vegetables in my calories and macros because when they're veggies like this, they're essentially free. The net calories, the net carbs are barely even worth adding in, but the micronutrients are invaluable. So make sure that you stock up on your veggies for each one of these meals. It's going to fill you up more, provide you with more uh, micronutrients. It's just going to add a ton of fiber. It's going to make everything 10 times better. If you're somebody who doesn't eat veggies at least often or doesn't try to eat veggies every meal, you're blowing it and you will realize what I mean at some point. Next, the final step is, well, you just pack them up, okay? You grab your lids and you just snap them on. What I also recommend, if you're a content creator like myself, you go on Instagram, you go on YouTube, before step eight, there's an optional added step, 7.5, where you snap some pics like this one, or you take some videos like this one or the other one I did, you know, repurpose this moment, show off the gains, tag me in it. If you prep, tag hashtag gains at me on Instagram, here it is, or send me a message on YouTube, shout me in your video, whatever it may be, I'd be happy to know that I inspired you and helped you in your journey. So that's it guys, seven main steps, was that seven or eight? That's seven, okay good, with the optional eighth, right? That's it, seven steps from start to finish. Oh, I should probably add in, clean your shit once you're done. Clean the place, you know, maybe even take some time to do the laundry in the meantime. These are all optional steps that uh, maybe you need to wait till you get to the king's level to get there. But seriously guys, thank you so much for watching. That is my seven step process, start to finish, to prep like a king, prep like a god, prep like a queen, whatever it is prep and get ready to nail your nutrition that week. We all hopefully know that without meal prepping, it's gonna be very difficult for you to stay on point with your nutrition and see the results you want in an easy, simple, streamlined sort of way. This will help you do it. So thanks once again for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment below whatever else you'd like to see. And if you stayed this long, comment meal prep gains I'll know you're the real MVP. Don't forget to share with your friends who make all these excuses so you can show them what zero excuses looks like. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.